friendship long time ago in the ancient city of syracuse in greece there lived a mean king the people in the city did not like the king and were miserable under his rule one day a man named Damon got together with the people and made a plan to drive the king out of their city. But the wicked king discovered their plan and was furious. He asked his soldiers to capture the leader. When Damon was caught, the king demanded that he be put to death. Damon requested the king to allow him to go home to say goodbye to his family. He promised he would come back to die at the appointed time. The wicked king did not believe that Damon would return. He said, "How will I know that you will come back? I will let you go." only if you find a friend who will stay in your place until you return if you do not return by the day set for execution i shall put your friend to death the king thought to himself no person will ever agree to take the place of a man sentenced to death Damon had a very dear and kind friend named Pythias. Pythias immediately stepped forward and offered to stay in prison while Damon went to say goodbye to his family. Many weeks passed and a few days were left for the day of execution. One morning The king visited Pythias and mocked him. Your dear friend has not yet returned. You were foolish to take his place. Now you will die and he will live. I know my friend Damon. He is kind and loyal and always cares for everyone. He will surely come. and if he doesn't i will be happy to die in his place damon has a family to look after but i have no one so i hope that he is delayed so that he may live replied pythias the king laughed loudly and went away On the morning of the execution Damon had not yet returned The king ordered for Pythias to be brought out for the execution The king looked at Pythias and said I told you your friend would never return There is no such thing as a loyal friend Just then Damon arrived galloping at full speed on a horse Quickly he jumped down and hugged Pythias My beloved friend he cried I had to travel by sea and the winds were blowing the wrong way for several days But I am glad I have arrived right on time Pythias was happy to see his friend but at the same time his eyes had sadness in them because he wanted his friend to live instead of him The king was left speechless on seeing the love and bond between the two friends Their friendship was so strong that it even melted the king's heart He set the two friends free 
and pledged to be a better person and a better king.